Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. The Israelites have been scattered across the four corners of the earth, as prophesied in Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter. Here in Israel, united in Christ, we need your help to recover the remnant of our people. Teach them the gospel. Please help us, support us, and join or donate to the Booster Club today. Shalom. Is a car to my left, Captain Severus to my far left, Officer Azaniah to my right, Officer Daniel and to my far right, Officer Lyle. And we make up four corners. Captain Ferris, no place I'd rather be. That's That's right. right. Let's Ah. get straight into it. Let's pull up that article for tonight. Um, it's about Mexico because we're gonna, uh, today is the last day of Hispanic Heritage Month, so we're gonna go out with a bang. That's right, for Hispanic. Heritage That's right. I'll uh, read that for us, officer. Mexico asked Pope Francis for apology for church's role in Spanish conquest. See, this is this the only the problem I got with this is that Israel, uh, us uh, blacks too, Hispanics, yeah. we always ask it for a damn apology. There you go. Right. Right. We don't right. never ask for give me my damn land back. Yeah. Right, right. That's that right. Hurt, that'll hurt him right there. Right. I want my land. You 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 want your apology, right? No. Give me my land. That's what was stolen, so I want my land back. Yeah, I'm I'm going to take all your descendants, and they ask, get up out of our land, and then we can talk. Bring it out. Apology. They let you know they ain't got no power, so they ain't going to ask for nothing real, Mm. no substance. Mm, Bring it out. And they know that. Just apologize. It will be okay. No, you should want more than that. Let's go to the, um, the images and get straight to the points in that article. Mexico asked for an apology. Look at that. That's what that's what they did to us. Yeah. That's what they did to our mm. brothers. Slaughtered them by the wholesale men, women, children, babies. Read uh, what's that book called? Uh, Destruction, Destruction of the, of the Indies. Indies. Yeah. Bartolomo de la Casas, yeah. and he accounted word for word just a little he can fit in his in his uh, his memoirs of how bad the atrocities was, and we just want a damn apology. Mm. Go to the. Um, Go to the images. Let's read that. Uh, so so before we get to that, now look at this. So I want y'all to know we're going to, uh, what would you call it, preface this, like Bishop the Daniel B. said. We're mm-hmm. going to preface this and let all you damn yayas, all you damn Northern Kingdom, you Hispanic haters. Bring it out. All of y'all going to know that the Hispanics are the Israelites according to the Bible. <laughs> Bring it out. That's right. They That's are the right. lost ten, they are the lost ten tribes that the Bible speaks of. That's right. Right. And they're blacks and Hispanics. We brothers. That's, That's right. right. That's right. That's we, right. We might look different, but we brothers. We got the same daddy. Right. Yes. Which is God most high. <laughs> right. That's right. right. And hated by the and this. We hated by the same people. Exactly right. It's hated. Just one speak dad Spanish, yeah. the other one speak English. There one might have spoke French. But they're all the same damn enemy. We all got the same common enemy. We gotta come together. Um, go back to that 12 traps chart, and let's show you who the Mexicans are to God. If you see it right there, it says that they are Issachar. That's right. right. Mexican, Aztecs. Right there at the bottom, right above Naphtali. That's what God called them. God don't care what you damn Negroes that say because they light-skinned with long right. hair. Right. They ain't your, your brothers. Right. 
what you say about light skinned black people then? So they ain't Israel, Come on, right? You got your Terrence Howard, right? right. Terrence Howard, he's black, black, right? Because I ain't, I'm saying? not, I'm not dark. I'm not that dark. Right, so you must not be Israel because you're oh, light skinned. That's man. Lyle. Lyle. Put the camera on Lyle. He can't be Israel oh, now because he light skinned. Right. And he the same right. damn that's complexion. Hell, it might be right. some Mexicans darker than Lyle, darker than yeah. all of us. Right. right. And I don't speak no Spanish. You don't speak no Spanish? <laughs> don't speak no Spanish. Speak no Spanish. Speak un poquito <laughs> But they are the Israelites. God called them Issachar in the Bible. Go that's to right. the article and let's see. Let's dissect that article a little bit. Let's pull that up. Read that for us, officer. Mexico's president has written to Pope Francis to ask for an apology for the Catholic Church's role in the oppression of indigenous people in the Spanish conquest 500 years ago. I want all my Mexican brothers from the nation of Israel, whom God calls Issachar, to understand this. The Catholics enslaved you. That's right. Bring it out. That is not the divine religion of God right. and the Mother Mary and all that crap that y'all be doing. Right. That stuff was forced on y'all. So throw, throw, crystal. Those, throw those rosary beads out. Yep. Throw them out. Throw them out. Seize a bow. Throw Burn his ass. Things. Burn yeah. his ass and throw him that's in the trash. Right. Right. Hey, that's a t-shirt. Burn his ass and throw him in the trash. I have a Caesar <laughs> bow picture on it. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> we got to do so with that one. Uh, go back to the article right there. 500 years ago. So so for um, Negroes that uh, be like um, uh, uh, only black people went into slavery. No. Actually, our brothers, the Hispanics, have been in slavery longer than we have. Bring it out. Right? It was, what, 16, 19 around that right, time? Right. right. For the so-called less. blacks? Yeah. It's 1492. Right, 500 plus years for the Northern Kingdom. Go back to it. Let's read that second paragraph. The request was made in a two page letter that also asked the Vatican to listen to this. Go ahead. To temporarily return several ancient indig- indigenous manuscripts held in its library. Now listen to this. You Damn. can't let that go past. Damn. You got to dissect that. It said return. The first thing it said, it said is temporarily return. Right. Come if on it's now. your if it's your stuff, I was about to say something yeah, crazy. I know you. I know <laughs> right. You. That's how, that passion. It's the, yeah. How can you be like, hey man, I know you took look, that's like uh what's that dude's name on uh on Friday? Red. It's like Red yeah. got his chain snatched. Right. By Debo. Oh yeah. By yeah, Debo. Yeah. <laughs> And be like, hey, just let me hold the chain for a little yeah, while. That's right. what he did with the bike, <laughs> wasn't it? Yeah. I got mine. It control. could be both of us. Right. Grandma bought me that. Hell no, that's yours. You should want it back. Right. Bring it out. We could share it. We could share it. Now, right. The law says when you steal something, you're supposed to return it five times fold. Right. That's right. what you right. stole, right? right. So it, it said that they should uh, return two manuscripts that the Vatican have. I wonder what those two ancient mm. manuscripts are mm. I guarantee Bring you one out. of them one of them is probably saying outright flat these are the people of Absolutely. God. Absolutely. Right. Ooh. And that's what these devils do though. They'll take uh, someone's heritage, oppress them, yeah. and then w- once they start begging for their uh uh heritage back, they like, "No. Yeah. We're not giving it back to you." Yep. And on top of that, we're going to tax you and kick you out Damn. your land. Put Damn. you in the bathroom of your own land. Call them reservations, but they're really right. concentration there you camps. Go. Right. It said return two manuscripts. And also with that, you can't let that slide by. It said return two manuscripts that the Vatican has. So what that lets you know that the Romans got, they got all of our artifacts. Right. Bring it out. Right. Hidden mm. in that base. Because people thought that was like um, what you call that stuff? Uh how, you know how people come conspiracy theory right. stuff, yeah. right? Right. 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 People like think Area 51. Area 51. Right. Like, oh, they, that's conspiracy, conspiracy theory stuff. No. Them damn Romans, they do got all of the peoples of the earth history hidden in a vault up mm-hmm. under the Vatican. Yes. They know who all the people of the earth are. Right. They got all the artifacts so they right. let you know. Remember remember in the, um, uh, uh, the destruction of Jerusalem mm-hmm. where you got the picture they was carrying... The manure yes. out of Jerusalem. Right. Right. Where right. do you think our manure is mm. right now? Yeah. Yeah. I already know. Right. Our manure is hay is up under the Vatican in a vault that can't mm. nobody get to. Oh. Right. Teach. If you can find that picture, pull that up though. I think it's called the uh Ark of Titus. Right. No, 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 no. Is it Ark of Titus? Yeah, 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 it's the Ark of the Titus. Ark of Titus. A R C Big Ark. Big um a menorah. They carry yeah. a big menorah. 
They got that stuff, man. That's what you know. You can't let that go by. They got our history here. They know who we are. Go back to it. Go back to it. Pull up that article. And let's read that uh, the letter. The, the letter dated October 2nd, but posted on President Andres Manuel Lopez Abrador's Twitter page on Saturday. So he wrote a letter and put it on Twitter. He didn't even mail it to him. <laughs> oh, punk ass. All right, go, go back to it, man. Is this it? Is, you got it? Pull it up, man, if you can. Uh, right there. there. Yeah. Boom. Yeah. There you go. Dang. Our menorah is in the Vatican. Dang. Probably in a whole host of other stuff. Because remember, they put that stuff, uh, they took they took all of our stuff out. That's Titus right behind right. the uh, manure right there. Mm. They took all of our stuff and marched that stuff, put it on a ship, and took it back to Italy, which is where, in Rome, right? right? And they put that stuff in their treasures. And they still hold on to that stuff, just like many other ancient uh, uh, civilizations got a little bit of our stuff in their treasury. Right. That's uh, called war um, war artifacts. Uh, yeah, war So artifacts. when you conquer a nation, of, a group, or a nation right. of people, you keep that in your vault to always remind you, this is what my ancestors yeah. and my yeah. forefathers, yeah. they done. Right, right. But the, you uh, will never know that. The only thing that they don't get is the uh, uh, is the Ark of the Covenant. Yes, Because God said that nobody, nobody would be able to find, find that. Yep. Right. Bring it out. That's hidden. And he will reveal that when he returns. But they got our stuff. They marched it all the way back to Rome, way back in 70 A.D. Now let's go back to the article. Go back to that. The letter dated October 2nd, but posted on President Andres Manu Manuel Lopez Abrador's Twitter page on Saturday. The same day, Mexico City authorities decided to remove a statue of Christopher Columbus that protest protesters had threatened to knock down. It's crazy if they would even have Christopher Columbus statue in Mexico, but that's how destroyed our brothers are. They got to be woken up to let them know you don't worship your damn oppressor. Right. Separate right. from them. Mm. But that's going to take the prophets getting the word. We got to IUI. Right. For all those naysayers out there, we got a dag on IUIC Mexico. That's right. right. Last right. time we talked about uh, bro, bro. in them yayas not believing, the, we brought out about the slave ship. Oh, right, right. The, 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 the Mayan the Mayan slave, slave ship. ship. You know, the, the common board filled up with the damn naysayers and stuff. Of course. We got of a IUIC Mexico. That's right. We got boots right. on the ground in That's Mexico. Right. That's, That's right. right. Let's wait till this Rona's up. They're going to be right back in Mexico. Oh, and we're Get me in. Right. Get uh, go to the next one. Go to the next. Read that real quick. Lopez Abrador said the Spanish crown, Spain's government, and the Vatican should apologize to native people for the most reprehensible atrocities. Reprehensible <laughs> atrocities, meaning that they was outright horrible. It's like a, 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 a horror movie, the way they did our brothers and sisters. Go back to it. Atrocities committed after Spanish conquistadors arrived in Mexico in 1521. Uh -huh. They deserve not just that generous attitude on our part, but also a sincere committee, a, a commitment that never again will dis disrespectful acts be committed against their beliefs and culture. Read. The Catholic Church played a key role as. Hold on, it said the who? Blank, the blank, Catholic Church. Church. The Catholic yes. Church, the mother of Christianity. Bring it, Bring it out. Catholic Church is the mother of Christianity. Bishop been bringing that out for weeks. Not my Jesus. That's where it started from, and all them denominations go right back to that damn Catholic Church, which it was in Rome way back in what 325 A.D. Yeah. Right. Council of Nicaea. Nicaea. All of that stuff, Catholic Church is the mother of Christianity, and they played a key role, go back to it, a key role in what? As Spain colonized the Americas and spread its empire, uh -huh. setting up missions to convert indigenous mm. people to Christianity. To what? Damn. To Christianity. To convert Damn. you to Christianity. Right. Woo. Christianity is not the divine religion of God. Right. Well, they're letting you know off rip. It's built on blood. Right. Good point. All that churches is built on blood. The bones. The bones right. of our people are buried under the churches. You hear it all the time. Right. And that's the proof right there. Yep. So not only they conquered us, they went ahead and established uh, our churches built on blood and bones of our people. They established churches to keep you brainwashed you for what is going on now. What? 500 years. Bring it out. Right. 
Go uh, uh go to Jeremiah 5033 real quick. Got to pull this out for, for our brothers and sisters so we can connect the dots, come together, and say to hell with a Spanish his- heritage month. Yes. Right. To hell with a black history month. Right. We celebrate in Israelite That's history. Right. That's right. right. Forever. Right. That's right. right. Read that Jeremiah 5033. Jeremiah chapter 50 and verse 33. Bring it out. Thus saith the Lord of hosts. The children of Israel. You Mexicans, you Hispanics, you Latinos, you Latinx people. Read. The children of Israel and the children of Judah. You blacks, you uh, uh, Haitians, you Jamaicans, you the children of Judah. Read. We're oppressed together. Why you think both of us is caught up in Christianity? Right. Right. Because right. we brothers and we brothers and sisters. And guess what? You know how it be when you got a brother. What brother don't just get an ass whooping? Bring it out. Uh, don't, don't, no, you oh, fuck right, you get it. Right. That's right. I'm going to whoop your ass too just well, so you well, learn. Well, That's well, what God did. Because right. you didn't correct your brother. Because right. you didn't watch out for him. I'm going to whoop right. you too. <laughs> That's what God did. He whooped the Hispanics and he whooped the blacks because we brothers. And he said, you know what? Both y'all going to be oppressed together because both y'all did wrong. Right. Read it again. Jeremiah chapter 50 verse 33. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the children of Israel Mm -hmm. and the children of Judah were oppressed together. That's why both of us caught up in Christianity. Read on. And all that took them captive. Like the Spaniards, like the Catholic Church took us Catholic Christianity, took us captive. Check, check. uh, Christianity took us Catholic. Read. Took them captives, held them fast. Uh Uh-huh. They refuse to let them go. They refuse to let them go. They won't even give them back their ancient manuscripts. Yeah. Bring it out. Mm, right. you, gotta, you gotta write a letter. They've been holding on to their stuff for 500 years. Oh, they, if, 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 if Mexican president wrote the, uh, 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 the Vatican to give them uh, two ancient manuscripts, that means that those Romans, Christianity, has known for 500 years that we have the stuff that we taken we right. took from you. But hold on. Doesn't God teach thou should not steal? Bring it right. Yeah. right. What in the hell is Christian the Catholic Church doing? Bring it out. Right. Right. Doing exactly what their father Satan ordered them to do. They up there stealing. Yeah. They ain't keeping none of the commandments. Not one. It's jacked up. Hey, go to that next um uh image. I want to show you something about Mexico. Deacon Ithan brought this out, I believe it was last Sunday. week or the week Sunday. before, about Mexico. Pull it up. Pull it up. Read that at the top real quick. Oh, yeah. From the writings of Acosta himself, as well as from the works of Sagan, previous Lost Tribes info excerpt notwithstanding, and Torquemada, tor- uh, Torquemada, and the commentary of the an- anonymous interpreter of the, Vi- uh, of Vatican. the Vatican. Read and the Indians of New Spain. That the Indians. That the Indians of New Spain. Of did, New Spain is Mexico. Read. Did expect a Messiah whom they even named Mexi. They expected a Messiah named Mexi. Mm. Mexi, right? Go to the next part. Uh-huh. It get better. Read that. The following passage translated from the second section of the seventh chapter of the third book of Garcia's Origin of the Indians shows that the attention of the learned writer had been drawn to this coincidence. In New Spain, the word Mexico is... No, they don't don't say Mexico. That says Mexico. Mexico. Remember, it says it's a Mexico. Messi, Messiah, Messi. Right, right, Go back to it. Mexico is found, read, which... As Brother Stephen de Se- de Se- Salacar, Salacar remarks, is Hebrew. Is what? Hebrew. Messi is Hebrew. Mm. Read. And is therefore introduced in the second psalm and signifies his anointing. Uh-huh. Since the leader who conducted those who, pu- who peopled People. Mexico was named Messi. Was named Messi. There you go. The mm. person who populated Mexico, it says the his name was Messi. At the top of it, it said Messi meant what? Go back to it. Mm. Messi, it says, New Spain, Spain did expect a Messiah whom they even named Messi. Mm. So you mm. had Aztecs and Mexicans speaking Hebrew. Hebrew. Right. Go back to it. Go back to it. 
Uh, read that. It uh, says since the leader, Yeah, go ahead. Since the leader who conducted those who peopled Mexico was named Messi, or as others write, Mexi. And the city and nation were afterward called after him. Were called after him. So you got a Hebrew word that was translated into Spanish, which was translated into English. That's how you got Mexico. But the original was Messi, Messi. and it went back to what? Messiah. Go back to it. Go back to it. That's cold. In the same way as we see that many cities, provinces, and nations have been named after those people... After after those who peopled or founded them, uh-huh. or to whom they owed their origin, or whom they own own their origin to. Go ahead. As we shall presently point out, read the word messy. The word messy should be noted as being really Hebrew. Messy Mexico is really Hebrew. Read, and it agrees surprisingly with the name of the chief head. Or captain of the Mexican. Hold on, go Damn. back to that twelve tribes chart. Woo! Go back to that twelve tribes chart. Bring it up. Bring it it up. said it agrees with the name of the leader of the Mexicans. Drop the black bar so we can see the top. Bring it out. The twelve tribes of, of Israel. Israel. Who's the head of the twelve tribes Bring it out. of Israel? Bring it out. Who's the king of kings, brothers? The Christ. Christ. It said that they re- they named the place after their leader, the Messiah. Mexico wow. just means the Messiahs. Messiah. Wow. Woo. That, that means the spirit of the Lord was always with them. There no matter go. where they went. Bring right. it out. Still with them. Right. There you go. So so them damn uh, Spaniards right. that, that uh, uh, put our, our brothers and sisters into captivity. Bring it out. Uh, every one of them. Give me that in Jeremiah. Give me that in Jeremiah. Bring it out. Fifteen. Bring it out. This is the. This is what you got to to look forward to because you you punished the people of God overboard, and it, it's not because the curses were gonna fall on us for sin, yeah. right? That was gonna happen, but. This white man went over and beyond yeah. right. on punishment that he did to us. Jeremiah 15 and 11. Jeremiah chapter 15 and verse 11. Bring it out. The Lord said, Verily, it shall be well with thy rem- remnant. With the remnant. Verily, I will cause the enemy to entreat thee well in the time of evil uh-huh. and in the time of affliction. Oh, oh, hold on, hold on. The one I want, uh, uh, Jeremiah 30. Jeremiah chapter 30. Yep, yep. 30 and 16. That's the one I wanted. Jeremiah chapter 30 and verse 16. Uh-huh. Bring it Therefore, out. all they that devoured thee shall be devoured. The Christians devoured us. I'm talking yeah. about these white folks. They devoured us, right? Took all of our stuff, ate up all of our land. Read. And all thine adversaries, uh-huh. every one of them. Every one of them is going to do what? Shall go into captivity. Shall go into captivity. Bring That's out. right. Thus saith the Lord. Mm, right. So ain't no praying for them. Ain't no holding hands no. with them. It ain't nothing that we can do to stop the judgment of God for what they did to his people. That's so right. So even right. these letters that's being written, you can stop. Advise your 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 right. pre, your was it, president. <laughs> yeah, right. stop. Yeah, There's yeah. no need. Let the Lord uh, fight this battle. Yeah. All yeah. you need to do is repent and gather yourselves with your nation. That's so right. the Lord will fight your battles. Hey, hey, that's a good point, man. That's a good point. Hey, and the reason why that that God, I want to go to uh, Micah real quick, real quick, right. uh, that's, that's because one. it's something that this is why God said that He has to do what He wants to do. And not what uh, we are, because That's right. all we want, what do we want? All we want is a apology. There you go. Mm. When you all we want is a, right, 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 right. All we want is an apology. Ooh. Give me that in Micah chapter five, and I want to read verse fifteen. Mm. Micah chapter five and verse fifteen. Uh-huh. Bring it out. And I will, and I will execute vengeance mm. and anger. And fury upon the heathen, uh-huh. such as they have not heard. Such as they have not heard. God has to do that because all we want is what? 
is an apology. Mm. Just say you're sorry. Right. And we can call it even, although you take it all of our resources, right. everything that we own, you hell, mm-hmm. you if we still speak your bastard language. Right. You continue to oppress us. You continue to right. oppress right. us. You take your taxes money from us. Just say sorry. Put them in cages. Right. You took our nationality. Good point. Put them in cages to rot. Slaughter them Separ- at the border. Separate them from their children. And let them rot in cages. Good. Good. Let Go me on. land back off a. Of, uh, Go ahead, man. S- stick in Micah. Go to Micah 2 and verse 2. Bring it out. 2 and 2. Bring Micah. it out. down to verse 3. Here we go. Micah chapter 2 and verse 2. Bring it out. And they covet fields. Come on. And take them by violence. They take them by violence. Mm, That's heavy, what they heavy. did. Read. And houses. And take them away. Come on. So they oppress a man and his house. Mm-hmm. Even a man and his heritage. And his mm-hmm. what? And his heritage. Read on, verse 3. Therefore, thus saith the Lord. Come on. Behold, against this family do I devise an evil uh-huh. from which ye shall not remove your name. You see that? That's the Lord doing this thing. It's That's all a of the Lord. Precept. That's why it was this is prophesied from the um, mouth of the prophets that this would happen to us on both sides, northern kingdom and southern kingdom. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.